everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to resolve if you are running a Windows Defender scan and you have a potential one application Win32 prison NOKER um, error that seems to be coming up and it's not removing when you clear out the quarantine. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward tutorial, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So we're going to start off by opening up the File Explorer. So if you have a little icon down in your taskbar, you can go ahead and open that up. Alternatively, you can just search for it through the Start menu. And then you want to select the View tab up at the top. And then underneath where it says Hidden Items, go ahead and check mark inside that box. And then select this PC on the left side. Just go ahead and left click on that. And double click on the local disk where Windows is installed on. It should be indicated by a little Windows icon above the hard drive. So go ahead and double click on that. Double click on the program data folder. Same thing now for Microsoft. Scroll down to Windows Defender and double click on it. Should be a scans folder, so go ahead and double click on that. Select continue if you need to gain permissions to that folder. Please know you should be an administrator if you're doing this. So if you're some local user account, you might not be able to make this happen. So now that we're in here and you want to go double click on the history folder and then double click on service. And now anything in here, you just want to go ahead and highlight over it with your mouse cursor and right click and delete. Or if you want to use your delete key on your keyboard, you're welcome to as well. So pretty straightforward process there, guys. And once you've done that, you can also go double click on the scans folder now, double click on history, cache manager. And if you see anything in here, you just highlight over it. And again, you can delete that as well. And there you go, guys. Simple as that close it here, restart your computer, and that should be about it. So as always, thank you guys for watching this brief tutorial. I do hope that I was able to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.